In this video, I am going to be discussing a very important topic. The Obsessed Narcissistic Stalker. Please like, comment and subscribe. And share the video with anyone who you believe may help. First, I would like to state that stalking is illegal in almost every country in the world. It is a very serious crime. The maximum jail sentence for stalkers in the UK is 14 years. Stalking is a sick and twisted act which narcissists like to engage in. It is a terrifying and isolating experience for the victims. Research shows that victims typically endure 100 incidents before they even call the police. Stalking or harassment is an obsessive or repeated behavior that is unwanted by the victim or target. The behaviors may seem normal and ordinary, but when they are repeated, they can cause alarm and distress to the victim or target. Stalking or harassment can start with being repeatedly sent texts or emails, phone calls, being followed, but it can escalate. Stalking behaviors include frequent unwanted contact, like appearing at their home or workplace, unwanted telephone calls, text messages, emails, social media, driving past their home or workplace, following, watching, or loitering near the victim or target, gathering information on the victim or target by contacting people who know them or using public records, harassment of people close to the victim or target, threats to the victim or target or people close to them, assaulting the victim or target. I live in a small town called Swansea and I have endured probably over 100 incidents on a daily basis for the past three years. So over the three year period, over 10,000 incidents. The town where I live is very narcissistic and has a high rate of crime, depression and suicides. In the past year, 80% of crimes were unresolved here including sexual offences, violent crimes and antisocial behaviour. I come from quite a wealthy family and I have noticed that a smear campaign or hate campaign was based from this. Narcissists act off their dysfunctional thoughts and unstable emotions such as self-hatred and anger towards themselves. Hate, anger, envy and jealousy towards the, the target or victim. Stalking is an obsession, an addiction. When a person fixates and stalks an individual, they are psychologically unstable. It really is that simple. No psychologically stable person would ever fixate or stalk an, an individual. A minority of stalkers are even likely to be psychotic. The longer the person stalks you and the more intrusive the stalking is, the more likely it is that a mental disorder is contributing to the behaviour. I personally believe that all stalkers have some form of personality disorder. All stalkers are at the very least narcissistic. They have an, they have an entitlement to your body, mind and soul. They see you as an, an object or as an extension of them. They see you as their property. In their minds, you belong to them so they can do whatever they want with you. And that's why stalking often leads to rape, 
or even murder. They have an entitlement to your body, mind and soul. They see you as an object or as an extension of them. You are theirs. That's the mentality they have when they are stalking you. Stalkers need to be seen by mental health professionals who are trained in stalking. Then they can be appropri appropriately diagnosed, treated and risk managed. But of course, stalkers do not go to mental health professionals because they don't think they have a problem. They think that you are the problem. They think that there is something wrong with you. Or they feel intense hatred, anger, envy or jealousy towards you. They don't understand that the fact they keep returning to someone they feel these intense, negative emotions towards is a clear indicator that there is something seriously wrong with them. If you do not like someone, if you do not agree with something they have said or done and you are a stable, functional person, you would have no reason or motive for stalking them. If you do not like them or you do not agree with something they have said or done, you would just leave them alone. You would realize that by returning to the very person you feel these intense negative emotions towards, you are only fueling those negative emotions. You are only fueling your negative dysfunctional thoughts. It's an endless cycle which they cannot remove themselves from. They act on their negative dysfunctional thoughts and intense negative emotions. The thoughts lead to the act of them stalking their target or victim. This act of stalking produces more negative dysfunctional thoughts, more intense negative emotions, which then leads them to stalk even more. It's an endless cycle. It's an obsession, an addiction. And every time they act on those thoughts and emotions, they are feeding their obsession. They are feeding their addiction. The correct method would be to attend to those negative dys dysfunctional thoughts and intense negative emotions. But of course, narcissists choose not to self-reflect or look within themselves. They don't want to accept responsibility or accountability for how they think or how they feel. They don't want to accept responsibility or accountability for their actions. Instead, they choose to act on their negative dysfunctional thoughts. They choose to project their intense negative emotions onto the victim or target. So the cycle never ends. They continue feeding their obsession, their addiction, and nothing ever gets resolved. They can't just stop stalking or watching you. They can't just let you go and move on with their lives. They hate you, but at the same time they need you. They are dependent on you. They can't just move on with their lives. Every time they even think about doing that, something is triggering in their minds. They start wondering what they might be missing out on. Or they start feeling anxious or depressed. They depend on your presence or attention as a life source to them. They are always anticipating the future, always wondering what you are going to be doing. It makes them feel anxious and stalking you calms that anxiety. Which is why they end up so dependent on you, like a drug. They become addicted. After a few hours of not seeing you or hearing from you, they start getting withdrawal symptoms. They start feeling anxious or depressed, low energy, and they need you to give them life. It's like a cocaine addict, staring at a line of cocaine, knowing that it's not going to do them any good. But they can't help but snort that line of cocaine because they are addicted.
There are five different types of stalkers. 80% of victims or targets know their stalker. The most common is the rejected stalker. This is someone the victim or target knew from their previous relationship. The love obsessional stalker. These stalkers are relatively common. They tend to be a casual acquaintance or an isolated loner. They desire a relationship with a victim or target and persist despite or oblivious to the victim's reactions. The grudge stalker. These stalkers are relatively common and can overlap with the re rejected stalker. They tend to have a non-intimate relationship with a victim or target such as a co-worker, neighbor, or employer. They believe that they have been a victim themselves of some form of injustice and are motivated by ret retribution. The Erotomanic. This type of stalker is relatively rare, mentally ill, and believes that the victim or target is in love with them. The Predator. The predator stalks in preparation for a sexual assault, often with women or children being the victims or targets. They often gather information on them too. So those are the five types of stalkers. Obsessive behavior can be seen from all types, along with distorted thinking, narcissism, a sense of entitlement, and an ability an, an inability to take others' perspectives into consideration. Stalkers are known to rationalize, minimize, and excuse their behavior. Many also show a blindness to the impact of their behavior on the victim or target. I think it is important to note that there is no excuse or justification for stalking. If you do not like someone, if you do not like something they said or something they did, leave them alone. Do not follow them, do not contact them, just stay away and leave them to live their lives. If you do not like how someone lives their life, why are you trying so desperately and obsessively to be a part of their life? There's no excuse or justification for this type of behavior. People who engage in this type of behavior, such as stalking, do not belong in society. They should not be walking the streets. They belong behind bars. And that is why there is a maximum sentence of 14 years behind bars in the UK for these types of people. Stalkers have the delusional thinking that since they haven't been caught, they are still good people. Even when they do get caught, they are not sorry for their behavior or how it affected their victim or target. They are just sorry they got caught. Well, it doesn't matter if you have been caught stalking or not. The fact that you are doing that proves that you are, dis you are a disgusting, sick, twisted individual. You are a criminal whether you have been caught doing that or not and you belong behind bars. If you are a victim or target of an obsessed narcissistic stalker, please be cautious whenever you are outside and also whenever you are home. Understand that you may develop anxiety. Please check out my recovery playlist for some tips on managing any negative emotions you may be feeling. You may also feel compelled to isolate your, yourself. This will only gratify the stalker even more. They want you to be by yourself. They want you to be alone. They don't want you to be reaching out to anyone. They don't want you. They, they want you to be scared and unable to trust anyone. Contact people who you can trust. Spend time with family or friends.
This will make it more difficult for the stalker and it will also dis disencourage whatever narrative they have applied to you. If you would like one-on-one -on -one coaching on dealing with the obsessed narcissistic, narcissistic stalker, please contact me. My email is in the video description. I hope this video has helped you to understand more about the, the obsessed narcissistic stalker. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Share the video with anyone who you believe may help and I will talk to you soon.